welcome to we teach today in this session we are going to discuss the other topics that is dropped call rates and their evaluation so previously we have discussed the dropped call rates topic as well so dropped call rates definition and what is the evaluation how they can be calculated and how they can be overcome that will be discussed in this topic so firstly i am going to explain you the definition the definition of a dropped call rate is after the call is established but before it is properly terminated that means the definition of this dropped call is dropping off a call in between its conversation that means if x is in conversation with y so starting this x with uh, zero seconds and in conversation with each other if the call is disconnected in between then this type of call is known as dropped call that means intentionally the subscriber is not disconnecting the call intentionally the subscriber is not terminating the call he is not ready to disconnect the call they are in conversation with each other they wanted to continue the call they wanted to maintain this call for longer duration but still due to some issues technical issues or due to some weaker signals this call is disconnected that means the conversation is not completed that the information which needs to be delivered is not completed so such type of calls are known as dropped calls so without intentionally terminating the call if the call is disconnected by any of the subscriber then this type of calls are known as dropped calls so the definition or is the call is established means that the call is set up completely by set up channels so as x is in communication with y it has to be established with proper links proper channels and proper signals right so this type of channels are known as set up channels so in order to establish a call in order to initiate the call in order to send the request of a call from one subscriber to the other subscriber then we need to have we need to send the request by using some set up channels this set up channels are very important in order to initiate the call all right so next we are de defining here so in this definition we are clearly mentioning that the definition of the call is established means that the call is set up by using some set up channels so if there is a possibility of a call drop due to no available voice channels this is counted as blocked call and not as dropped call so if you observe clearly here we have two terms uh, which is differentiating with each other the first one is blocked call rate blocked calls and second one is dropped calls so when we will be observing this blocked call and when we will be observing this dropped call so dropped call in the sense in between it's uh, during between the conversation without intentionally disconnecting the call by either of the subscribers the call will be disconnected right so what we are saying here a is in conversation with b or x is in conversation with y so without intentionally disconnecting the call of either by x or by y if the call is disconnected in between due to any of the reasons that reason may be signal weaking weaker or that reason may be due to not properly handling of handoff or that reason may be either of the environmental conditions or that reason may be either of the technical problem due to that problems call will be disconnected then that call is known as dropped call so when we will be terming the term as blocked call so we are saying that if any of the subscribers voice channels are not available to take the call then that type of disconnection of calls is termed as blocked call so here if there is a possibility of a call dropping due to no available of this voice channels this is counted as blocked channels so without that means subscriber x is sending a request to subscriber y so if subscriber y is already in conversation with subscriber z then the voice channels will be allotted the voice channels will be allotted for this z and here for this it is stated that voice channels 
are zero. That means these are unavailable. So unavailable means these are already in conversation. They are, those are used by either of the subscriber. So for this subscriber, there are no availability of voice channels in order to establish a call between X and Y. Then there will be call drop. So this type of call drop is known as call blocking. Are you clear with this topic? So we have discussing blocking calls and dropped calls. So dropped calls in the sense due to, of the, due to any of the situations, any of the technical issues or due to any non-technical issues, if the call is disconnected in between the conversation without any interference or without the proper process of termination by either of the subscribers, then that call dropping is known as dropped call rates and if the subscriber A needs to call subscriber B but the subscriber B's voice channel was already in engaged with the other uh, subscriber that means B is already in conversation with any of the other subscriber then the availability e will be the status of this availability will be zero that means there is no available of this voice channels right. So, at that condition, the, it is no, the calls will be blocked, alright. So, I think now you have a, a clear distinction between blocked call rates and dropped call rates, right. So, moving on to the other point, if there is a possibility that a call will drop due to poor signal, here we are taking that the call will be dropped due to the poor signal, that means weaker signal, then the assigned voice if there is a possibility that a call will drop due to its poor signal, that means the signal is very weak, then the assigned voice channels, this is considered as a dropped call. That means if there is a possibility that a call will drop due to the poor signal of the assigned voice channel. If the assigned voice, if the voice channels here are available also, if the signal which is coming from the request, which is coming as a request, is very weak that at that point of time the call will be dropped and that dropped call is termed as blocked call and in this position in this case this case can happen when mobile or portable units are at a stand till and the radio carrier is changed from strong setup channel to weak voice channels due to the selective frequency fading phenomenon. So, in previously, we have already discussed about the topic of frequency fading, right. So, fading is nothing but fluctuating. So, here we are taking the cutoff uh, value. So, at this cutoff value, the signal is very high and after that, it is fluctuating like this. So, it, at this fluctuation, it is taken uh, time versus some frequency which is expressed in terms of dBs. So, you, while considering this, the signal's voltage level is reached till the threshold level. Strength is fluctuating. That means it is some point of time it is weak and at some point of time it is reaching the, its maximum value and at some point of time it is reaching the minimum value and at some point of time it is also equals to zero. So, at this, uh, that means considering this wave, it is fluctuating, right? It is fluctuating. So, what type of fluctuations we are observing? The signal strength is fluctuating between weak and strong. That means the signal is fluctuating from minimum value to maximum value. That means the signal is fluctuating from 0 to 1 and again from 1 to 0. Alright, so if we consider the same in terms of power and voltage and current, then it is taken as the maximum value, right? So, the maximum value is taken as Vth or it can be taken as Vmax and the minimum value is taken as V in and that means initial voltage also it can be considered or it can be termed as V minimum. Then the fluctuation between Vth and Vi is considered as fading of a signal and V that the signal which is fluctuating between V max and V minimum is defined uh, as fading of 
a signal. That means it is fluctuating from its lowest point to the highest point, minimum value to the maximum value, minimum value to the threshold value. All right. So this concept is already discussed in uh, previous units, but still I have recalled the topic, and this topic is defined as the uh, fading. Okay. And now this case can happen when the mobile or the portable units are at a standstill. That means it is constant stand still it can also be defined as stationary so stationary in the sense it is fixed constant but it is not a variable one or it cannot be moved from one position to the other position here the mobile unit is a virtual one portal one but still it is remaining its position at a fixed value and if the radio carrier is changed from strong setup channel to weak setup channels due to the selective frequency fading mechanism. So, somewhere the signal will be very high and somewhere the signal will be very low. So, due to this variation, this phenomena is uh, dependent on the fading phenomena. Alright. So, now the perception of dropped call rate by the subscribers can be higher due to the following three reasons. What are the three reasons we have for dropping call rate? The subscribers can have the dropped call rates higher and due to that higher dropped call rates, we can consider three main issues and what are the three issues we will be discussing now. So, the firstly we are discussing the point as the subscriber unit not functioning properly. That means either of their handsets, either X handset or Y handset or the mobile of X, mobile of Y or the communicating device of X or Y is not working properly so that the disconnection of calls will be done frequently and this type of disconnection comes under the dropped call rate. Alright, so next we are taking that means either of the subscribers devices not functioning properly means either they may be in repair either they may be not functioning properly. So, this type of handoff is taken, this type of calls are taken as dropped call rates. Okay. So, next moving on to the uh, second point. The user operating the portable unit in a vehicle. That means, this is misused. The user operating the mobile portable unit in a vehicle. That means, it is moving from one pole distance to the other distance, one point to the other point, one zone to the other zone. Then, the misuse of these frequencies will be taken, takes place. For this, the, there will be an occurrence of dropped call. Alright. So, next. So, next. The third point we are considering here. The user not knowing how to get the best reception from a portable unit. That means, it, they need some proper education while using this communication devices without any proper in information or without any proper knowledge or without proper without having proper education they cannot use the devices properly for that purpose also there will be the dropper call rates and that dropper call rates are not considered so till now we have discussed about the three conditions and the remaining topics will be discussed in the further sections thank you